Welcome to Keto on the Couch with Rachel and Joe, episode 47. I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we're Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Yes, welcome to the more than 250 new subscribers since the last Keto on the Couch. Now here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like product reviews, we do recipe videos, we talk about various keto topics, and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com, and that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Yeah. Well, it is Super Bowl Sunday. It's February. It is February. I'm in the lovey-dovey mood. It's also Groundhog Day. How many times are we going to have to relive this? I don't know, but I love that movie, don't you? I that love that movie. movie. It's a great movie. But the Groundhog did say today that we're going to get an early spring. Well, that's good, isn't it? For yeah. people who live where it's cold. Except for you wouldn't know it by the temperatures today in Florida. It's delicious. It was 50 degrees when I woke up today. I did not bring a jacket to church, <laughs> and that was instantly a mistake. I stayed in the sun. It was funny. There was a bunch of us, like, greeting in one corner of uh, out, outside of the church. We were like alligators. You know how <laughs> alligators are always looking for that one patch of sunlight when it is cold out, and we were just all huddled there so if you came by that corner you were greeted but everybody else good luck if you were in the shade <laughs> you know what else is good about february we can eat well not yet for me well i'm eating so you ate buffalo waffle wings yesterday yes so i fasted all day so that i could get buffalo wild wings and it was a letdown why i got a large order of wings okay I got 10 wings in and was like, I'm full. Oh, so you mean it wasn't their quality of wing. It was the fact that you got full really fast. I got full really fast. And then that was at like four o'clock. So I said, okay, I'll eat some more in a couple hours. And around 630, I ate like two more wings. And I'm like, I just don't want wings. And resorted to drinking a keto chow. No, you did not. I did. Wow. 30 wow. days of keto chow and keto bricks. And my first meal back, I resorted to drinking a keto chow because I just, I don't know. I don't know what it was. So it's I've got a, habit now? a few wings left that I'm going to eat today. Okay. Along with a burger and a whole bunch of eggs. It is currently four o'clock and I am still fasted from yesterday at seven o'clock. I ate a keto chow, my first keto chow of the day at like three o'clock on uh -huh. my way home from church. I let Caleb drive. The benefits of having a child that can drive I'm like, you drive, I'm going to eat my keto chow. Nice. I brought it with me to church and put it in the freezer because frozen keto chow is the best keto chow, in my opinion. That's because it takes longer to eat. Well, I don't know. It just becomes like a frosty. It reminds me a lot of Wendy's Frosties, especially right. depending on what flavor you get. It's like we discovered chocolate for the first time this week. Yeah. I'm always into like fancy flavors like raspberry cheesecake or, you know, the strawberry. What What's... What's happening with chocolate? I don't chocolate? think we've ever had chocolate other than once in a sample packet. And I had bought a bag of chocolate. And I think they've actually done the chocolate now where you get a different size scoop because people were saying the Delicious. scoop didn't measure it out right. And yeah, we had chocolate this week and it was really good. It is Just like plain chocolate. The best chocolate milk you've ever had in your life because you've added butter to it. Yeah, And I've enjoyed the strawberry, which we just all of a sudden discovered in the last week or two. You always want to wait a day before you eat your keto chow, though. Yeah, because tastes better. It, yeah, it, it, and it's thicker. The flavor soaks in. Yeah, so yeah, so I had wings today. I'm gonna have some wings, some burger. Um, I'm trying to find a prime rib for you to break your fast, and none of the stores around us have prime ribs right now. If we have to break my fast with Buffalo Wild Wings, I'm okay with that. Well, then you're either gonna have to break your fast on Tuesday. Okay. Which is a day earlier than you said or you wanted. Or buy to. them, but don't eat them. Or you're going to have to just wait till next Tuesday. <laughs> and like fast another week? Well, or yeah, because they're buy one, get one free on Tuesday. What a deal. No, I'm just kidding. I actually have a bunch of coupons that I can use too. I have like $15 in reward coupons. Plus, I think we even have enough points. Oh my so, goodness. If, you, if you've never been to Buffalo Wild Wings, they have a reward program and every time you go, you can rack up points. And I think we have enough points to get like a free large. 
I thought that maybe you were trying to save money because we actually bought patio furniture this yes, week. Yes, we bought patio furniture this week, which we first I finished Rachel's room. Let's start there. My I finished she Rachel's shed. room. I want to put some pictures up here. So here's what the room looked like before. And it was one of our kids' bedrooms. Yeah. And then when John Paul moved out, it was Anthony's bedroom. Anthony moved over to the bigger room. So the room's just kind of been like a dump everything in that room for a while. You can see by the spackleting and like patches that like Anthony loves to hang stuff up. Lights yeah. and pictures and all kinds of stuff. There's like a million holes in that wall. Yeah. So we first, we were going to put only wood on the one wall and then we got the wood really cheap. So we decided to do all the walls. So here's what it looks like now. And it looks kind of like a cabin. I love it because my intention is to close the door and feel like I'm someplace else. And you definitely feel like that. I mean, for some people, it may be too much wood. Right. But I'm like Kenny Rogers. It's the wood that makes it good. I love wood walls. I mean, I grew up always having wood walls in our house. And in our front room, when you first walk in that room, that's the room where we do all of our studio recording. The walls are wood. And all of the walls are. I remember when we bought the house. The realtor walked in and goes, first thing you need to do is take all this wood down. We're, we're like, like, wait, no. That's why we're buying this house because this wood is in here. So for us, wood is cozy. Yes. I would be interested to find out in the comments what makes a room cozy to you. Yeah. What is there a color? Maybe cozy to you is, you know, rocks. Maybe cozy to you is more of like spa colors and ocean theme what makes a room cozy? And I definitely find that like a wood cabin feel makes a room cozy to me. Yeah. I did want to say thank you to everybody for all of the well wishes, the prayers, the blessings. It's working. For my back. Yes. So if you are new to our channel or if you didn't see the live stream the other day, while I was sleeping, I couldn't get comfortable and I kept twisting and turning and I twisted and tweaked a muscle in my lower right side back. And it was painful. Actually, yeah, it was on what? It was on Tuesday, more, Tuesday, Monday night into Tuesday because we had a meeting on Tuesday. The air from me passing by him would send him to the ceiling. It was the most painful thing. I, I, I almost want to say it was more painful than when I shattered my ankle that caused my injury. It wow. was that painful. And then I made the mistake of not realizing it took me like 20 minutes to get into my truck to go to a meeting on Tuesday morning. Yeah. And then halfway down the road, I'm like, I should not be driving because it hurt to press, go from the gas to the, to the brake. And every little, like, I was like driving like a grandma, yeah. you know, because I was like trying to drive super slow. I ended up driving like all the little side roads to get back home because everything hurt so i was in so much pain and you know you guys all gave me like cool recommendations about you know like using different liniments which some of it worked some of it didn't use some tiger bomb but Rawr. somebody somebody actually gave the suggestion of put a pillow between my legs and then and then put a pillow under my knees and sleep with my legs up mm -hmm. and i did that and friday morning i woke up i'm still not 100 percent but I was able to walk and I was able to do things and I was able to, we were able to go find furniture for you and I was able to go to work. I mean, it was painful at work, but by the end of Friday, I was probably about 75% and that's where I am about now. I'm, I'm not a hundred percent, but I'm definitely not where I was. But what I'm noticing now is from a week of not walking and stuff, like my calf muscles hurt. They're like all tight. So now I'm trying to stretch my calf muscles and stuff because just a week of like really not using that whole side of my body. So it's interesting. It has been a while since you have experienced pain. Yeah. And that is, so like two years. Yeah. So, and that is after 20 years of pain where you're almost like pain is just something you just take for granted. Like I, I'm going to live in pain. So after not having pain for two years, the food decisions I feel like in the next couple of months are going to be easier for you. You know, sometimes it's hard to stick with this. Yep. You know, you're having to give up things. You're going to have, you know, you have to make choices that other people maybe don't have to make. Right. But I feel like when you're like, oh yeah, I remember what pain is like. All of a sudden making the decision 
to eat things that are going to avoid inflammation and avoid pain and stick with this keto diet, it's going to be easier in the next couple months, right? It, it, it absolutely will. Now, there was one silver lining in being bed bound for two days. You didn't generate a ton of laundry for me? No. I discovered a new show to binge watch. Oh my gracious. Have you guys seen the show Homeland on Showtime? It is good. I, I just happened to be scanning over and I saw this thing like it was a preview for the final season of Homeland, which I guess is getting ready to air now. And I'm like, that preview looks really good. I wonder what the show was like. So I, I was about to cancel Showtime and I was like, Ooh, that looks good because I just renewed our Showtime because we do it through Amazon. We don't do Showtime through the cable company. The cable right. company wants $20 a month, but through Amazon, it was $10 a month. So I'm like, I'll just do it through Amazon and we watch it on the app on my iPad or on the Apple TV or if you have a Roku, you just download the app and watch it that way. So I was going to cancel it because the other show that I was watching was finished. And I'm like, okay. And then I started watching. I watched the first episode. And I'm like, this is pretty good. And then I watched the second episode. And I'm like, this is really good. And it's one of those shows where like plot twists. And, and it's like, oh my gosh, I'm into the third season already. Because two days of being bed bound, man, I got two seasons under my belt. And it's definitely a show that's like expect the unexpected. Yeah, and it's a definitely a show that I'm going to go and rewatch. But have you guys, have any of you guys seen you know homeland and if you have let me know what you think of it down below and also give me another show to binge watch when i'm done with homeland i i love binge watching shows yeah he doesn't like to wait for commercials no so now that we can eat food we've been talking about um some of our plans for coming up like number one we're gonna we're, we're gonna, trying to eat a little bit cleaner that doesn't mean we're not gonna ever have any like i'm still gonna have some bars of course but one of the things that I think we were talking about doing for the month of February was the nothing before noon, right? Which is going to be a challenge. It's funny. It wasn't a challenge before. Right. For a very long time, I did intermittent fasting and didn't eat a thing until 2 o'clock. Just black coffee and water until right. 2 p.m. And all of a sudden now, I feel like if I haven't had, you know... A keto chow by 11 o'clock that there's something wrong right. and I don't want to do that I yeah. want to get back to a much smaller eating window yeah so what we're going to do for this month we're, and probably moving on from there yeah. uh, is we're gonna do nothing before noon which means before noon between when we go to bed at night and 12 o'clock the next day nothing except for water and salt are you gonna be able to do this no coffee can you do no coffee? I feel like... Or do you want to you want to be able to include coffee? No, I feel like I want to do this. I Again, I cannot stand it when my fuel, and that's what food is, it's my fuel. It's not my bestie. It's not my enemy. It is nothing but my fuel. I don't like when my fuel bosses me around. Yeah. So I'm ready to kind of take control. So I do like coffee. But I don't want it to, I want to have coffee. I don't want coffee to have me. Yeah. And right now I've been, I've been working my way up to, I'll be drinking three pots of coffee before the week is out if I don't stop myself. Yeah. So I think we're going to do that. Nothing before noon. And what we're going to do is when we have our first thing at noon or anytime after noon, it doesn't have to be at noon. You can right. wait till one o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock, four o'clock, five o'clock, whatever you want. There is like We're going to post on in Instagram. Day. Like what we do to break the nothing before noon. And we're going to use the hashtag, the hashtag 2KKNBN. Yes, because nothing before noon. Yeah. So if you guys want to join us in, just post whatever you start your day with afternoon mm -hmm. with 2KKNBN. Yeah, I like that. Now, before we move on, and I know we have to do comments and stuff, I wanted to read a post that somebody put on our Facebook group. And this was from Debbie. And Debbie's been a subscriber for a while. And it, it's sort of a subscriber of the week, but not really. She didn't put any pictures up. And uh, she just put, January results, I'm down 8 pounds and 6 inches. I'm following, following simple keto, fasting, and exercise. 
She said, 2019 was a hot mess. I was all over the map emotionally and my keto lifestyle kept veering off course. After a lot of soul searching and inspiration from you guys, I've decided that success was not going to show up on a whim. Wow. I have to make it happen. Being inconsistent and letting others dictate how I live my life is not working for me and I want to be healthy. I want to lose weight. I want to live a keto lifestyle without shame. So you know what I did? I put on my big girl panties and I decided that this life is mine and I'm going to do what I want. And wow. that means that if I lose out on invites to parties or dinner or social events, I don't care. Respect for my lifestyle is going to come first. If someone doesn't want to hang out with me or invite me because I don't want to have fun, like drink alcohol and eat off keto, then there are they really my friend? January has been one of the best months. I feel amazing. My mindset is on point, And honestly, I feel more relaxed than I have in a long time. Thank you to all of you who have shared your stories, your support, your challenges, and your life in general. This family means the world to me, and I hope to get to meet you guys in one per in person one day. Hint, hint at KetoCon. Yay! If you've made it this far, thank you for reading, and here's to carrying the Keto Torch into February. Oh my goodness. Well, first of all, Debbie is one of my favorite people in the entire world. So encouraging. So just uplifting, funny. Yes. I mean, just a funny, awesome person. I feel a pain in my heart for the idiots that would not invite her to something because of this lifestyle and miss out in the opportunity to get to spend time with Debbie. Yeah. Because I am jealous if they get to to spend time with Debbie right now. Like, I have to wait until KetoCon to actually see her face-to-face. -face. So if there's somebody in our local area that the obstacle is they're, she's not going to go out drinking with them or eat off plan, what a mess of fools. Right. Just fools. So, but I'm so proud of you, Debbie. I mean, I'm proud of you every single day for just the person that you are. And how you love other people. And you're so kind and encouraging. But I am proud of you for making that decision to your, for yourself. Because sometimes you do just have to put on your big girl panties and be like, it's okay if you don't get me. Right. Because I get me and I like me and I want myself to be successful. I don't want to feel bad about myself in the hopes that you feel good about me. Yeah. So don't feel good about me. Kiss yeah. it. I read that post and I was just like, wow. And I know that there's some people who aren't on Facebook. So I wanted to share it because it's so encouraging. And like it you is. said, Debbie is very encouraging since like we started our Facebook she's family group. Since star. she became a member, she's always encouraging people. And yeah, sometimes it's just hard. Sometimes you like, you know, I know people don't invite us to parties sometimes because they know, well, oh, they eat weird and then I have to go buy special food. Right. And I don't want to have to be bothered with that. And I want you guys to know you need to put you first. Yeah. Hold on. Tabitha, go lay down. Sorry about that. We had a Tabitha emergency. <laughs> Tabitha was going to try to sneak her way. And the next thing you know, she would have been. Knock the camera stand. Knock the camera stand over. And then main focus. Although a lot of people like to see that, but. We would have been very uncomfortable. And the funny thing is, is that the entire time she's like just taking all the cords with her, she's, she's got that same stoic look on her face that's just like, what? <laughs> so anyway, yeah, you. I just want to, to remind you guys to make sure that you come first. You come before anybody. You come before the people who don't want you to have a good lifestyle, the people who, you know, don't want you to get thin, the people who don't want you to be healthy. What's most important is yourself and the way you feel about yourself. Well, it's interesting. After more than 25 years now in kids ministry, here's something that I've learned. Don't reward bad behavior. It just doesn't work. You trying to comply with bad behavior, it just doesn't work. If you raise the standard of how the other person needs to act and treat you, chances are they're going to come around and change. When they miss your company, Debbie, they're going to come back and be like, okay, I need to make some adjustments. It's on my end. I miss you in my life. If they don't, then like you're saying, were they ever your friend anyway? That's and right. it's not a loss. But I've seen so many 
kids and situations turn around because you didn't give in. Right. You think that being, you know, giving in and being the, a lot of times we put in the, well, I'm going to be the bigger person. That's not being the bigger person is, right. is giving into them not being nice to you. You hold the line. You, you set the standard and set it high. Hey, this is what it takes to be my friend and be in my life. I'm worth it. Right. I'm worth getting to know this is how I need to be treated. And more often than not, they change. That's right. So... Again, I want to reiterate, because this is what Debbie is talking about, we have a Facebook family group. Yeah. Please, go share your stories in our Facebook family group. You're, the link is down below. And if you don't have Facebook, that's fine. You can email us. Email us at stories at twocrazyketos.com. We just started that email. So you can email your story. And this way, we know it's separate. It doesn't get mixed in with all of our other emails and things like that. And this way we can share it on, you know, Keto on the Couch because your stories are going to inspire. There is somebody out there right now that is going through exactly what oh, you've yeah. either gone through or what you're going through. And they're going to get motivated because since you're being able to get through it, they'll, they, they'll know that they can get through it as well. Yeah. If they feel like they're alone, then they'll just, you know, maybe continue doing that. But seeing you, they're going to, you're going to give them the courage to also, you know, make a similar decision. Right. Now to go along with Debbie's post about, you know, being encouraged and things like that, I did want to say, you know, if you have questions or comments or concerns or anything like that, you know, you are welcome to email us at twocrazyketos at gmail.com. Oh, yeah. But I do want to say that, like, sometimes it may take us a while to respond to those emails. You know, this isn't our full-time job. We've got, we, like, four jobs. We do have a lot of things going on. And sometimes emails get buried. You know, we will try to get to them. But sometimes it does take us a little while. But I've noticed, like, there's sometimes things end up in spam or something like that. Yeah. Um. So we have, you know, that way of communicating with us. You can also send us messages on Instagram. And I did want to reiterate, we tend to not see Facebook Messenger messages. Yeah. So I don't send us messages on Facebook Messenger. We tend to not see them. Either send us an email at twocrazyketos at gmail.com or you can contact us on Instant Messenger via Instagram. Yeah. And we are, I know a lot of people have asked us about this. So something that we are considering is some type of a coaching, but I'm looking into the best way to do that. And things like that. We also have a Patreon, which is linked down below. Okay. And one of the levels of Patreon or the levels of Patreon will give you access to a special email, which kind of gives you the priority so that if you have a question or you want something on the channel, you can email that. And that one we see like right away because it doesn't get buried with everything else. So the link for that is down below. Okay. Now, before we do get into the subscriber of the weeks and the comments, I did want to ask you. Since you have been fasting for the last 31 days, with the exception of when we went away to Omaha. Right. Is there any food that you are looking forward to eating when you start eating in a couple days? I mean, for me, it was wings. And then it was kind of a letdown. I'm like, oh, wings, wings. Ah, uh, not as good as I thought it was going to be. I am looking forward to wings. And we've talked about prime ribs. Right. So I'm looking forward to that. But honestly, I have had the weirdest just hankering for canned chicken and canned tuna. I can't explain it. Really? It makes no sense at all. Canned there's so chicken. Much, there's bacon out well, there. Well, you can have the canned chicken. I'll there. do the can of chicken, but canned tuna smells like cat food. I don't know what it is, but I just, I would really like some, please. I would really like some. Well, we can do something like that. Well, I'm sure. Well, I need you to start eating because we have some products to review. Okay. And the one of them I'm super excited about. Well, I'm not looking forward and to some of these. And it came all the way from Australia. I am not looking forward to I these. want to start eating that stuff so bad. And I'm like, I've got Go to for wait. it. I've got, no, I can't. We got Eat dehydrated kidney, beef, and liver from Grasslands Nutrition. And they airmailed it to us from Australia. That just seems like an all you thing. No, no, we have to eat that. I can't Ugh. wait for that. So that that'll be coming later on it's in like the a week. Fear factor trail mix. <laughs> fear factor. So do you want to do the subscriber of the week in yes, the comments? Yes, please. Okay. So we got a few subscriber of the weeks. The first one is real short and sweet. It's from a vet. Oh, a vet. Okay. And uh, a vet put up a couple pictures. I'm going to show you the pictures. Look at you, Gort. What? 
And she just wrote a work in progress. A work in progress event. Look at this woman. You look amazing. You that. are gorgeous. She looks amazing. So oh my gosh. Just gosh. wanted to share that one really quickly. How come she has such an awesome closet? <laughs> We need to work on that my closet. Well, we could have turned your room that you decided you needed to have a she shed. We could have That's turned what she that. Shed. We could have made that a walk-in closet. Man. That would have been a better use of that room. So the next one is from Terry. Hey Terry. And Terry is actually uh, new to keto. Okay. And new to our channel and new to our family. Welcome. So yeah, welcome to the family, Terry. And Terry wrote, I started keto on December 30th. I don't think I'm ever going to go back to standard American diet. I like the weight loss it's given me, but I love what it's done for my fibromyalgia and my IBS. Wow. It has helped my symptoms so much. I'm starting to feel human again for the first time in two years. Oh my now, goodness. Now, Terry has only been keto for four weeks, but take a look at these before and after photos of just four weeks. Wow. What a difference. If you look in her shoulder area. Oh my goodness. I mean, goodness. what a huge difference. I mean, it's... It's only four weeks. Fan, you I mean, look amazing. Fantastic. Keep up the good work, Terry. Like in no time. You like, are wow. What a difference in just four weeks. Well, here's the thing. Talking about these are serious issues. Fibromyalgia, IBS, and I don't know how long she's been dealing with those problems, but those are serious things that are very painful and uncomfortable and. You know, there's lots of medicines that you have to go on, right? One month. One month, she's already seeing some forward momentum in those areas. Yes. So, I mean, if you tried a prescription drug for a month, I mean, you'd be super stoked if anything, if it made any dents right. in the situation. This is a month, and it's just about eating food. Right. It is worth a shot. You don't have to pay for a prescription. You're eating actual food. And let's see if the food will work as a medicine. Right. I love it. Yeah. Good job. I did want to say while well, I'm holding this, guys, we only have one black one left. So if you're interested in the black one, we have the one black one left. I am placing a new order for these because everybody seems to like these stainless steel blender I bottles. I love them. Dr. Barry even put a post that he likes. I really love them. So, um... We are going to pre-order them. It's going to take about four weeks. If you're interested, I put it on the website. There, that It's listed as back order with the exception of the one. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can use the code 2KK pre-order to get $2 off if you want to pay for it and be one of the first people to get in. We're only going to order 15 of each color because we have to lay out like over $500 to get them. Which is a lot of money. My furniture. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so if you're interested, the, the code 2KK pre-order, it's on our website. If you use that code, you'll get $2 off. And then as soon as we get it, we ship it right out. And the price includes shipping. Blender bottle is just different. Yeah. I've had every single type of insulated mug and thermos there is. I just love it. I mean, this thing's still got leak. ice. They don't leak. And um, I do want to say, somebody made a comment on our Facebook group. If okay. you're using it for keto chow, it is great for keto chow. Especially if, like, you want to take a cold keto chow to work. However, I know what we're talking about on the live stream. The insulation works. The insulation works. So if you put keto chow in that thing or anything, right, in that insulated container and put it in the refrigerator closed, it's not going to get cold. It'll you either have to warm. leave the lid open or off, or put it in a different container, and then when you want to take it to work or whatever pour it into the insulated container. But if you put hot coffee in that thing and stick it in your refrigerator, it's still going to be hot four or five hours later. It's going to stay hot. Yeah. So just, just a little warning. Like I've done that where I put the keto chow in there and I'm like, why? Oh, it's insulated. Oh, it insulates inside and outside. Actually working. So, okay. So the next one is from Sarah. Hey, Sarah. Back to a subscriber to Weeks. Sarah wrote, thank you for adding me to this group. I've been following your tribe channel for a, quite a while. I, too, have struggled with weight my whole life. I've lost weight twice with unsustainable methods. I started keto 10 months ago. I'm down 100 pounds. Wow. I'm going to put her pictures up here. 10 months. And uh, she said, I couldn't even tie my own shoes without being out of breath. I'm a food addict, and I always will be, which is why keto has worked so well for me. 
I can eat quite a bit and feel satiated. I don't feel like I'm missing out on anything. I can admit that I like the full feeling. I hate being hungry. My goal is 50 more pounds this year. And with this fabulous community, I believe I can do it. So happy to meet you all and become fast friends. And here are her before and after pictures. I'll put them again up Ooh, here. Oh, Sarah. It's like, oh what my a difference. Goodness. Congratulations, Sarah. You look amazing. You look incredible. And 10 months. 10 that months. is awesome. Okay, so something in her story really resonated with me. I could not tie my shoes either. In fact, you it, used to get out of breath and almost pass out tying your shoes. I did. And a lot of times, can you remember how many times we had to go someplace and I would lay on the bed and I would say, can you please tie my shoes? Yes. Like a lot. That was a romantic gesture. Please tie my shoes. And being able to put my shoes on myself, it is, it's a non-scale victory. It's a victory though. Seriously. I mean, I tied my own pink Timberlands today. Not only do you tie your shoes, you no longer have to do the running jump off the bed to get into your jeans. No, I did not have to pull vault <laughs> to get into my pants. <laughs> it's a victory. Congratulations, Sarah. You look amazing. Two things I wanted to bring up here, too, with her story, though. Mm -hmm. You know, people are going to see like, wow, 100 pounds in 10 months. That's awesome. That's how much I need to lose. And when they only lose six pounds in a month or five pounds in a month, they think they're failing. You're not failing. Okay, you're not failing. I, I keep seeing this over and over. People are like, I only lost five pounds this month. I only lost seven pounds this month. I only lost 10 pounds this month. A good healthy weight loss is a half a pound to a pound a week. So if you lose five pounds in a month, that's awesome. That's great. And don't forget on keto, you're losing fat. So even if you only lost five pounds, I bet your sizes have gone way down. Oh yeah, and it's gone. I mean, it is gone forever. It's not, it's gone and you're eating food. It's not gone because you have like calorie restricted to right. the max. It, you know, you haven't been like, well, I'm not gonna enjoy life anymore. I'm not gonna have any taste. I mean, nothing. You're gonna enjoy good food mm -hmm. that's gonna work toward all of your health goals, not just your weight loss. Right. Gonna have some mental clarity too that you probably never had before. Get good sleep, all of these things right. together. And I really want us to say with every pound, we should be singing, hit the road, Jack. That's right. And don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more. And really get the fullness out of it. Mm -hmm. I not every 20, every pound. Right. Every single pound. If you lose pound, a pound, that's you've lost a pound. Strap a five pound bag of potatoes to you. That is actually. Walk you around with that. Mention that. Yeah. Here, we, we've decided we're going to do a vlog. I'm just trying to find the gear. And we're both going to strap on 50 pounds. We're going to, we're going to go, we're trying to find some weight vests. I'm trying to find somebody who owns a workout weight vest. And we're going to each spend an entire day walking around with 50 pounds. Which is only half. Which is only half of our weight loss that we've lost. That we want to see, like, what would it be like if I put 50 pounds back on? Which, again, is only half of what I've lost. Only half of what Rachel has lost since her first initial weight loss. And You forget how far you've come. Right. And so we're curious to see, like, we're going to we're gonna vlog the entire day. We should, you know what we should do? We should do that and go to Universal Studios. Can you even imagine trying to carry that? I mean, we used to walk, you know, or used to walk Universal Studios. I had to ride in a scooter because I couldn't do it. Or I used it. to push you. Or used to push me. Man, do, like, am I like wife of the year? I mean, can You're you imagine? Awesome wife of the year. Not only did I have to carry my own weight, but I had to push yours, brother. Up, up and down hills, too. So yeah, so that is a vlog that as soon as we can find somebody who has some vests that we can borrow, that we can keep adding weight to, we're going to do a vlog for a day with 50 pounds more on us. Because we're just as hard on ourselves. Yes. We forget like how far we've come. That's right. And instead of encouraging ourselves and saying like, hey, maybe I'm not where I want to be, but I'm not where I'm used to be. No, we drive home the, the five pounds, the 10 pounds, the 15 pounds, whatever it is that you got left, that is what we focus on yeah. and not on what we left behind That's already. Right. So the other thing that uh, Sarah's story uh, reminded me of, this has nothing to do with weight loss. It does have to do with the keto diet. When she's talking about bending down to, to tie her shoes, mm -hmm. 
an issue that I used to have, and I noticed somebody um, in not our group, but in a different Facebook group the other day mentioned mm -hmm. that they were getting dizzy and lightheaded when they would bend down and then stand back up. If you're having that issue, increase your sodium. You're probably not getting enough sodium. It's actually low blood pressure because you're losing so much sodium. And that is something that I used to have when yeah. I started. I would come home from games and tell Rachel that every time I go to put the ball on the ground and I stand back up, like I'm getting dizzy and lightheaded. So it's nothing to do with the story, but it reminded me that if you get that dizziness from like bending down and standing up too quickly or standing up too quick or something like that, you make sure you check on your electrolytes. Yeah, and not table salt. Not table salt. Good electrolytes. Like Redmond, Redmond Real, Real salt. salt or a good quality Himalayan pink salt. But just use Redmond. It's the same price. You can get it everywhere and you know it's good quality. Buy American. Buy American. Okay, last one is from D. Now, this one is a little bit longer. Hey, D. So I'm going to show you D's pictures and put them up here oh on this thing. Oh, my goodness. And uh, so D wrote, I'm going to be 60 in a few months, but I feel like I'm in my 40s. In you 40s. look like you're in your 40s. Um, that would not be possible if I had not decided to change my way of eating for life. My entire childhood, I was overweight. Food was always around and sweets were in abundance. I lost weight in my early 20s. I got married, had my daughter, and then the weight came back on. I'd lose again and the yo-yo cycle for years. I developed fibromyalgia, hypertension, and was borderline diabetic. Family history of cancer, heart disease, and lung disease. My father had passed due to strokes and heart issues, and my mom from a heart lung disease. Mm. Seven years ago, I started doing the virgin diet food elimination gluten-free when my husband saw it on public television. I was already suffering with fibromyalgia every day to the point I was in constant pain. Wow. The, fir the virgin diet helped, and I realized that I needed to stay off of gluten and other items. I then did the gluten-free diet, then I went to paleo, and during this time my mom's health was declining and I was her primary caretaker. Nights and days at the hospitals did not lean itself much into healthy eating, plus the stress, so I gained some yeah. of the weight back. My mom passed in May of 2015 and after a few months I decided I needed to do something for myself and make changes in my way of eating. I went low carb and then started on Thrive, it is a vitamin shake mix. I lost weight and I felt better. Then one day my husband heard Dr. Colbert talk about keto, so I went on keto. Wow. I've been eating keto for one and a half years. I'm down to a half of a 25 milligram water pill for my blood pressure. That is awesome. Fibromyalgia is gone. I'm wow. no longer borderline diabetic. And the test for my heart inflammation is the low to normal range. My first picture of me here is with my mom. The picture on the right is from six months ago. I continue to lose inches. I used to wear size uh, 1X in women's plus 1820. Now I'm a size 6, 8 with a small medium top. Plus wow. I've lost plus or minus 80 pounds. Incredible. I have learned to not compare to other people. Don't worry if you don't lose as fast as others as we are all different. It is my journey and as long as I keep moving forward and improving, refining my life, then I'm on the right track. I love to cook and try new recipes. Hubby says we eat better than ever before. Nice. My daughter tells people that I never cheat, and I would say that sometimes I eat more lazy keto, but I try to limit that. I have not had any sugar of any kind in two years. Wow. You look wow. incredible. Wow. D, you look amazing, and that's exactly what I was just talking about, and mm -hmm. I actually forgot that part of this when I was saying the whole thing about if you're only losing four, five, six pounds a month, it's your track. Don't right. compare yourself to other people. Rachel tried comparing herself to my weight loss at the beginning and quit. Yeah. Where would you be if you wouldn't have decided to come back? I am so glad I just started comparing myself to me. That's right. Run my own race. Get out of his lane. <laughs> So congratulations, Day. You look amazing. So you ready? Let's do some comments. And again, if you're not a member of our Facebook family group, the link is down below. Please go join. Look at all of these awesome people who are being inspired by you guys being in there, sharing recipes, just lifting each other up. So yeah. please, there's 1,700 people in there now. You I guys are incredible. That. And it's funny. I like what Dee said about her husband noting that they eat better than ever. And I was thinking that, we eat every day what we used to eat for special occasions. That's right. Right? Like when there was a special occasion, we'd go out for smoked brisket or we would go out for a steak or we would go out for hamburger. You know, people could kind of make you feel bad because, oh, well, you're not eating 
you know, rice or no, I'm eating steak. I'm eating like, sa- you know, sushi grade salmon. Well, you I mean- say that. And I think the only time you ever ate steak was the occasional Outback, was, which was maybe once a year. Yeah. And if we went to Golden Corral, that was your steak, right? That was it. We didn't buy steak. Now we buy grass fed, grass finished steak. We eat it at home. And our food bill is less than it was before. We're like fancy cheese snobs. Yeah. I could, I only eat like the- eat $5 a dozen eggs. Fancy olives. Yeah. Okay, let's do comments. So, Lady Equinox wrote- Hey, Talia. Don't feel embarrassed to wear Hollister clothing. I get some of my clothes from Justice for being on keto. Yes. Oh my gracious. Rachel shops at Justice and I make fun of her for that one. Well, you know what? They have more things that are written out in glitter. <laughs> And I need glitter. <laughs> it's got to feel good, though, when you're in your 40s and you can shop in a teenager store. Yeah. Well, it's really almost like a kid's store. Paul wrote. Hey, Paul. 27 days so far, no sweetener and no dark chocolate. Wow. Congratulations, Paul. You are awesome. That, that is, is a real success. So Diana wrote. Hey, Diana. New subby. Love your very informative videos. Would you answer a question, please? The Zip Fizz drinks and the electrolyte drinks, do they trigger an insulin response? Thanks. Um, the the Zip Fizzes shouldn't. It still chlorose is zero on the glycemic index. It may spike a little bit of an insulin response from something called the cephalic insulin response, which mm-hmm. is where your body thinks it's getting something sweet because you just put it's it in your mouth. Taste, yeah. That sweet taste. Some people can even get it from just looking at something sweet where your insulin goes up a little bit and it's your body preparing for something sweet. Ooh. It's a it's a small insulin spike. It's not a major one, uh, but it doesn't happen in everybody. The way you would really know is if you tested your blood sugar and you saw a massive drop in your blood sugar after right. consuming it, that means your body has released insulin. And I don't mean like one or two points because that could be nothing. That could just be, you know, the, the the plus or minus effect of the actual glucose monitor. But if you test your blood glucose and it's say like an 80 and then you drink a Zip Fizz and it drops all the way down to a 70, yeah. most likely your body's released some insulin because of the cephalic insulin response. Uh, the same thing with the electrolyte drinks, it, unless you're drinking just like some electrolyte drops, if you're drinking uh, the, what are the ones we like? The Keto Vitals or what's the other one we have? Ultima. The Ultima. Both of those are sweetened with stevia. So you should not get an insulin response and you should not get a glucose response from them either. But if you are worried, I would go with Keto Chow Drops yeah. because there is no flavoring or anything and you just add it. It's like a almost looks like a saline solution on the outside yeah can add it to anything coffee when we do put on your eggs when we do our long-term fasting 24 36 48 72 hour fast the only electrolytes that we will usually drink is actual like electrolyte drops from like keto chow or sodium or things like that if i'm doing intermittent fasting i usually don't mind having a zip fizz if i need it i don't always need it but if i know i'm gonna have a long day or i'm dehydrated from the day before I was thinking about like we're going to be doing a fast coming up soon and it's going to actually be during lacrosse season and I'm going to do it without zip phase, which means I'm really going to have to make sure I'm up on my electrolytes during that. Well, and I was thinking too, if you don't want to drink them, you can also use the Redmond salts. Yeah. Like those little, you know, just mineral salts. Those are just so fun. Yeah. So Queen Shelly Hughes wrote, Hey Queen Shelly. Regarding who eats how much, eating extras later, here's where carnivore is just easier. You both eat meat. As much as you want until you're full. Easy peasy. I'm totally on board with this. <laughs> Parrothead Renee wrote. Hey, Renee. Y'all's reply to my comment had me in tears. Y'all are so sweet. I totally understand the issue with the mirror, Joe. I still see the fat girl. I probably should enjoy shopping, but honestly, I have to take a friend or snag a stranger in the dress rooms because I will still go for the baggy clothes and gravitate to black items. I have to have someone push me to get to the correct fitting size. Another reason I love you guys, because you get it. Yeah, I mean, it has been really hard. I wear a lot of crazy colors now. Since you guys have met me and I've been on keto for a while, you know, you met me dressing crazy with bright colors and glitter and, you know, crazy tops and stuff like that. But that is a new thing to Rachel's life. Mm -hmm. I only ever wore blacks and grays and I almost 
dress in brighter colors because I am pushing myself and making an effort not to retreat back into that everything has to be black. Right. You know, even buying things with stripes on it is a huge deal, right? You never bought a top that had stripes on it. Now it's like, I'm wearing stripes. The other thing that I remember when you were heavy, you always wore baggy pants. Always. And you always wore unisex or men's t-shirts. If you look at pictures of Rachel, it was always large men's t-shirts or unisex t-shirts. And I have fought with her for like the last two years. Like, stop wearing t-shirts. If you're going to wear a t-shirt, you've got to wear a woman's t-shirt. Like, you love the t-shirts in like Hot Topic. Yes. And I won't ever let her get them because I'm like, they do nothing for your figure. Like, you can fit into women's shirts now. Wear women's shirts. But Yeah, but after, if you've come off of, I, we, I was like 22, 24 um, I'm not used to having a shape right. that I want. You hid it behind like anything men's shirts. Anything clinging to. So, um, yeah, it's it's tough. Lucy wrote, Hey, Lucy. What a great keto on the couch. And you guys covered really important stuff. I smiled, I cried, and I cheered for all the success and the progress that we're making together. Each time we go to the store, we notice how much stuff we no longer buy. But I don't feel deprived. Now that I'm more mindful of what we eat, I think about what a food is adding to my health as well as what it truly costs if it isn't healthy. It comes down to more than just price. Cutting out the snacks and the drinks, we eat now high quality foods that make us feel great and it makes me feel so good that I'm finally feeling my feeding my family healthy. Yeah, it is amazing. I had to stop on the way home um, to, to pick up some chicken for Caleb to eat something you know, this afternoon because I was eating keto chow. And I thought, boy, there's a lot of stuff that's buy one, get one free that's just like snacks because it's getting ready for the Super Bowl. And I mean, there is just tons of junk. And I thought, okay, this is a deal. It's buy one, get one free. But I'm still saving a ton of money because there's just so much stuff I'm not buying. Not buying anymore. I mean, there was so many fillers, chips and cakes and cookies and Again, none of those things that I just listed are adding any value to your life at all, right? right? Like, there's no nutrients, there's no minerals, there's no protein, you know, just garbage. And like Dr. Cyber says, there's no shutoff valve no. for eating it. Right, yeah. So, it's just so funny. There's so much stuff that I don't have to pay money for. So, yeah, I invest money in steak and hamburger and, you know, $6 eggs and stuff like that, but... Dude, I walked out of there. I didn't have a hundred dollar Super Bowl bill right. today, like we did in years past, where it was like, well, everybody's eating all the junk, so this is the day we eat all the junk. Yeah. Vintage girls wrote. Hey, vintage girls. You guys should keep us posted with Instagram stories as they hit the military live feed daily, and oh, we wow. do air the YouTube. But since Facebook is banned here and we can't follow the Facebook groups, we'd love to see Instagram. Uh, TV or stories included. Okay. I know it's a lot of media to post on and that we all can't air TikTok or Facebook. So a ton of us want to do the fast. We often do group fast, but it would be fun to have the Marines and the sailors do one with you all. And the easiest way to watch um, the little check-ins for the military bases is with YouTube Live or if stories, which will only take a minute. Thanks, Rachel and Joe, for loving up on the military. We need all the support we can get. Semper Fi. Oh, wow. Well, we love you guys. Thank you so much for your service. Yes. We do not take it lightly what you have committed to. And we know that we only enjoy the freedoms that we have because you are standing in the gap for us and for everybody else in this country. So thank you for what you do daily and the lives that, that you've committed to this country. Thank you very much. Yeah. And yeah, we can do that. Well, we were, I was going to say, we've actually been talking about starting for the month of February and today's February 2nd. We kind of missed yesterday, but that's okay. Okay. Um, Rachel said she was going to start posting on Instagram every single day, like everything we eat. Once I start eating. And uh, well, in the meantime, okay. we can start doing some little, the Facebook, the Instagram some, stories some and stuff like that. Stuff. Yeah, but you can do the Instagram stories. Just pop your face in and let everybody know. Since now I did not know that Facebook Facebook was banned in the military. Well, we got so now to. that we know that, we will make sure that we're also getting on Instagram a little bit more. Instagram peekaboo. Rachel wrote. Hey Rachel. Since I'm new to fasting, I would prefer a 48 hour fast challenge. 
Y'all had me going through so many emotions today. Those keto stories touched my heart. And of course, there's always laughter with you too. Aww. By the way, I went back to the doctor to get my nerve test results. And of course, I jumped on the scale. I'm down almost 10 pounds now. Rachel! Thanks for being a constant inspiration. Man! Okay, so she's an inspiration. Yes, because Rachel's only been doing keto since the beginning of the year. You are doing amazing. Amazing. That is incredible. And she is always in our Facebook, on our YouTube lives, and our Facebook lives, Such encouraging an people, encouraging everybody else. Making sure everybody hits the like buttons, which again, if you're new to our channel, please make sure you subscribe to our channel and take a moment and hit the little like button, the thumbs up button down. It helps grow the channel. It really does. Share us on your social media. Like if you think somebody else could, in, you know, use some encouragement, we want to be that for them. But right. um, share us. Yes. Please. Um, so, okay. So now we're into the fast. We're, we're well, having, a, we've got a bunch of comments on the fast up. and then we're going to talk about how we're going to do the fast after we get through all the comments. So Delissa wrote, hey, Delissa. I'm in for 72 hours, although it is my 30th anniversary weekend. So I wow. may be starting on Monday instead of Sunday night, or at least very late on Sunday. My plan is to stay keto. So it shouldn't be too hard. I will just be starting several hours after most. Um, I think a 30th anniversary. I think that starting later is completely fine. Right. Happy anniversary, by the way. Rebecca Rowe. Hey, Rebecca. I've never done a long fast, and I'm not sure I could do it, but I definitely would like to try with you two and this awesome group of people. 72 hours really kind of freaks me out, but 48 I could probably do. The first time we did a 72-hour fast, I was freaking out. Just the thought yeah. of a 72-hour fast. scary number. And we didn't even start, if I remember right, we didn't start with a slower one first. We were doing intermittent fasting and said, let's jump right into a three-day fast. Balls to the wall. And it is amazing. And I know we've said this before, but it is amazing how you get hungry at your normal hunger times, the normal eating times. Like yeah. if you're used to eating at five o'clock, you're going to get hungry at five o'clock. But at 5.10, you're like, I'm not hungry anymore. What happened? By hour 24, you don't even want to think about food. And you've got so much energy. You feel like like amazing. crazy amazing. And the deeper you get, the less hungry you are. It's a really, really weird feeling. Um, I do want to read the rest of the comments. But two warnings when you come into this extended fast with us is... You will have a lot of energy and may have a little bit harder time sleeping on the first night. Right. At least that's my experience. Yeah. That at night, I have so much energy, I can't go to sleep. And you tend to get cold because yes. you're burning fat. Yes. So I was those are the say, two warnings I'm going to give you. They're good warnings and you're burning a bad fat and that's th that's why you're cold. Put on a double sweater though. Yeah. If, so if you're getting cold, you know you are deep, deep into a fast when you start getting that cold. Patty Epps wrote. Hey, Patty. Oh, no, not during the Daytona 500. So <laughs> I, I read that and I was like, oh, that's right. The Daytona 500 is always Valentine's weekend. Mm -hmm. But here's the good thing. We're going to start the fast after dinner on Sunday, which would be after the D Daytona 500 race. So okay. you're good. Margaret wrote. Hey, Margaret. Let's shoot for 72 hours. We all have the option to see how we're feeling and we can drop out early. No judgment zone. Heck no, there is no judgment zone yeah. at all. If you do 24 hours and that's something you've never done before, we're just encouraging you to push yourself, you know, further. Right. Rhonda wrote. Hey, Rhonda. I think it depends on your interaction during this fast. Are you only going to check in with us once or during, daily during a 48 hours uh, or then twice on the third day? Then I can push it to 72 hours. I like challenges where there's coaching. Yeah. I think you guys would be great at coaching us through a 72-hour fast, and it would be amazing. I definitely think we, we could do... We are going to do something about that. We're going to talk about it in a minute. Let me right. read the last couple. Oop, Joe's already decided. Susan's written. Hey, Susan. I would do a 48-hour fast with you. I've never gone longer than 24 hours. This is exciting. Melanie wrote. Hey, Melanie. 72-hour fast, please. The longest I've ever gone is 45 hours, so I need to push myself a little harder. Wow. Uh, Robin wrote. Hey, Robin. 72, but I will do a 48. I'm kind of scared to do the longer one. 20 is the max. Uh, may start a day or two later. I have a job interview that Monday and not the time to be fasting. Actually, that's a great time to be fasting because by hour 24, you are so Focus. Even like 12 hours in, you are super focused. So You're like, I could do this job no and your pressure, job. But I'm going to tell you, you will be super focused because the deeper you get into a fast, 
the more your body is going to produce ketones from the fat that you have in your body and more ketones goes right to your brain and makes you have a much better, you know, your mind is running better. I will say that I find that I talk louder. Yes. When we're on and fast. faster. And faster. So I don't know. You may come across as crazy. So you may not want to do that during an interview. Either way is good. Don't worry about it. If you have to start late, that's perfect. But you will you do have some really incredible cognitive functions when you're fasted. Yeah, fasting. I can't control the tone of my voice. <laughs> Uh, Anne wrote, Hey, Anne. My longest fast has been 26 hours. I plan to join the fast and go as long as I can. I will be driving home from Florida during that fast period, and I think it might work out nicely. I really need to get back into a fasting routine. Yeah, Anne is actually on her way down to Florida right now as we're recording this. I can't wait. And if all goes well, um, we're going to hook up with her for like maybe some coffee. Yes. On what, Tuesday when she's on her way from Melbourne to the Keys. We're the luckiest people. We are. I'm so excited. Yeah. So, yeah, driving and fasting is really awesome. We're actually talking about even doing a a day at Universal Studios fasted. I know, like, Chris and Miriam always go, they fast whenever they travel. Whenever they're traveling, they fast for the day. That is a great, great plan. You got a travel day. You're, you know, you're going to be in the airport anyway. Yeah. You got, you got a long drive or something. That's a great day. At least fast. until you get where you're going. Yeah. Right? You, know, you know, even if you fast all day and then you have a dinner that night, but then you don't have to worry about like, hey, you know, what can I eat on the airplane? What is there in the airport that I can snack on? You're fasting until you get to your destination. Don't you usually only ever settle? Yeah. It's not like you're getting something like, ooh, exactly what I wanted. <laughs> right? That's Never. right. Sorry, we had to take a break. The battery went dead on the camera and, and the we, cat just joined us. We freaked out a little bit. We freaked out a little bit because I was like, oh, please don't tell me we just lost that hour of footage. Sweet Lord, I've been up since 3 a.m. <laughs> okay, so Doll wrote. Hey, Doll. Will you please do a video on what we need before fasting or link if you've already done one? I know we need water and salt, but is there anything else? So pretty much water and salt is all you need. If you have it or if you want to get it, the Keto Chow Electrolyte Drops, or more importantly, the Keto Chow Fasting Drops will really, really help. Oh, yeah. Um, But if you don't have that, if you only have salt, that's perfectly fine. Mm -hmm. Um, We are going to be working with Redmond. I'm actually going to be speaking with somebody from Redmond on Monday. Right now, they're at the Metabolic Health Summit, so I had to delay it. I was supposed to be last week, and when I hurt my back, I didn't get a chance to call her. Right. Uh, But we're going to put together a package of... Our favorite products from Redmond, and it's going to have like a little bit of a discount. So we're supposed to nail that down this week, and then we'll give you guys the link for that. But yeah, so salt, keto chow electrolyte drops, water, that's it. So before we finish up the rest of the comments, let's quickly talk about how we're going to do this fast and the rules for the fast. Because last week we asked you guys 48 hours or 72 hours. So what we're going to do is we're going to do 72 hours. And the reason we're picking that is it was kind of 50-50. Some people wanted 48. Some people wanted 72. We figure people can drop out. You can drop out. So if you only want to do 24, if you've never done longer than a 12-hour fast, shoot for 24 hours. That's yeah. awesome. If you've done a 24 hours or maybe done 36 but never gone to 48, shoot for the 48. Yeah. See how you're feeling. See how long you can go. I think that is a great way to do it. And then what we're going to do is... We're going to do, we're going to pop on for a quick live stream when we start on that Sunday. Yes. We're going to live stream every day at the 24 hour mark. Right. So at 24 hours, at 48 hours, and then when we finish. Mm -hmm. And then if we can, we're going to pop in with some quick, like five, 10 minutes. Hey, how are you guys doing? live streams throughout the fast. But we're not going to promise that. We're going to promise you guys three fasts, 24, 48, 72 hours, Mm -hmm. and three live streams. And then we're going to try to just pop in like, hey, if Rachel's out and about, jump on Instagram, jump on Facebook Live, something with our phone. Just, hey guys, how you doing? That kind of thing. Yeah. Does that sound like a good plan? I think that's awesome. Then we'll get to be able to check in every day, see how people are doing, if they have any questions or concerns. And then also we could just cheer one another. Yeah. Now, here's a, if you can't make the whole 72 hours, don't worry about it. Yeah. Up until recently, Dr. Barry hadn't done more. I think it was like a 54 hours was his longest fast. Yeah. So, and, you know, that's a guy who's in very good shape, been keto for a while. And, you know, he struggled with getting more than 54 hours for a while. So this is a don't marathon, feel bad. dude. This is, this is the real deal. Yeah. So it, whatever you do is awesome. 
I think it'll be fun to do it together as a group. And oh, yeah. if it's successful, we'll do it every once in a while. Absolutely. I'm looking forward to working with Redmond and, and getting a special price for some of the salts and things like that. Yeah, me too. Uh, now, the other rules is pretty much we're going to do water only. Mm-hmm. And if you need coffee, drink coffee. But drink it black. Drink okay? it black. No cream. No, no, hey, 50 calories or 100 calories doesn't break a fast. So we're going to do water and coffee. I'd say if you absolutely have to have, or tea, tea, yeah. tea is just as good. If you have to have a sweetener, stevia, it does not break a fast. Thomas Lawler's done a bunch of videos on it. It doesn't have an insulin response. It doesn't raise your glucose. So if you need a few drops of stevia or something like that, have at it. Let's try but, to go black. But though. try to go black if you can. We could do it. I mean, you you, you never want black, and then once you had black coffee, you loved it. Well, I mean, it's supposed to be about the caffeine, right? Right. I mean, that's why we have to have it. If I have to have the cream and the sweetener, then it's about the cream and the sweetener, and it's not about the coffee. Right. So let's try to let's try to do black. Right. If we can. Right. But again, try to do water only, and again, if you if you don't drink coffee. If you drink diet soda and you're really struggling, hey, I really need something, have a Diet Coke. Nobody's going to beat you up because you had a Diet Coke. It's not going to break your fast. You're still going to get plenty of benefits from fasting from food for 72 hours. Yeah, absolutely. So this is not a a pressure thing where like it's got to be our way. This is how we're going to do it. Do it the best you can. Exactly. This is just a challenge. So we have a few comments left. Sylvia wrote, Hey, Sylvia. So important to remember, remind yourself and appreciate how far you've come in your weight loss journey. Don't focus on the temporary stall or how much you, uh, more you need to lose. Knitting is fun, and I'm excited to see what you're going to make, Rachel. I have been really enjoying this. Just Rachel really is knitting up a storm. Having fun. I'm going to apologize in the beginning. Like, if I'm giving out gifts, you're probably getting something knit. <laughs> Because I'm just loving it. But, you know, it's it's time for me to just pray for that person that I'm knitting. Think about them. Appreciate them with every stitch. You know, it's not going to be a, a masterpiece, but it's well loved. That's right. <laughs> Tennessee Keto Mama wrote. Hey, Tennessee I Keto wish Mama. I could learn to crochet. Well, it's that loom. Yeah. So I, I think I responded to this in the comment section on the video. I'm Loomy Tunes. I'm going to leave a link down below. Rachel, I love you, is the worst craft person. If you guys are new to the channel, if you've been around for a while, you remember the Mickey Mouse that Rachel attempted to make. And Mickey Mouse looked like he had two butts. Well, I sewed his butt closed. Oh, that's right. You sewed the butt closed. So if Rachel could do this crocheting, and she is doing an incredible job. I mean, it's actually knitting, not crocheting. Anybody can do it. And what she's using is a loom. And I'll leave a link for the ones we got down below. They were super cheap. They're like $14 on Amazon. Very relaxing. And the ones we got are actually a better one and very cheap compared to even like Joanne Fabrics and all that stuff. Yeah. And even with just the round ones, you could make scarves. You just don't close it all the way. You could make hats. You could make washcloths. You could make blankets by connecting other pieces together. So check out those pieces. Again, they're like $15. It's, It's really inexpensive. I'm sure you'll be able to do it. Most of my crafting... Like the outside package has a child on it because it's really for a child. <laughs> well, the picture of these looms has a child on it. so Because it's for a child. Leanna wrote, Hey, Leanna. I used to teach crochet to women who were trying to quit smoking. Wow. Yarn crafts are a great distraction. If you run out of folks to make hats for, there is usually a need at hospitals for preemie hats or at nursing homes for hats and lap blankets. Yes. Oh, my god. That's gosh. an awesome I idea. I love that. Okay, I'm totally doing that. Last one. Rhonda wrote, Hey, Rhonda. I love your videos and you are such an inspiration in so many ways. God bless you. I'm in that place that you talked about. It's no longer working and I am keto. I've been keto for three years now and I've lost 65 pounds, but I'm over 50 and three years of not being hungry and now I'm always hungry. Mm. I know I'm eating too many calories more days than not, but after dieting my entire life, I am not good at feeling deprived. I don't miss carbs, but I hate hunger. I'm heading to a keto supportive uh, naturopath to try and figure this out. I was hoping that this way was the final easy fix and said that this is a struggle too. Life is a struggle. It's not, um, you're not doing anything wrong 
you, it's just hard. Every day is just full of decisions, mm -hmm. right? I wish that I could just make a decision and like be done, but it's just like parenting. It's just like being in a job. It's just like being in marriage. Just because we've been married for longer doesn't make being married easier. There's new challenges, right? right? Um, I'm so proud of you for sticking with this anyway, even though it's hard. It was funny. This week in our preschool class, we had to do this thing where Jesus prayed and I can pray at any time. So we had to make a craft where you had to trace the side of your hands, right? On one side of the paper and then fold it and then do your other hand on the other side of paper. Well, it's just like if you've ever painted your nails, one, one nail, it's so easy to paint, right? Because it's your dominant hand painting it. The other nail usually looks like, like a crazy person did it. But I told them, I want you to use your non-dominant hand and go ahead and trace that other hand. Don't do the same easy hand twice. Right. Because sometimes, you know, it's, yes, you're going to, it's going to be easy to pray. But sometimes it's going to be hard to pray. You're going to maybe be like super angry with a loved one and you're like, I know I need to pray to like calm down and I want to have a good attitude. But it's hard right now. Like it's hard to pray. It is hard sometimes to, to eat right. It's mm -hmm. still hard for me to make good choices. Like we talked about, I have to get back into intermittent fasting, something that I was totally fine with like a year ago. And now I have to retrain myself and, and get back more structured. And a lot of times Joe will, will say, wow, I, you know, this is, this is the carboholic talking because I get angry and it's hard to do right. It's, it's challenging. And, but I'm so proud of you for sticking with this and saying, okay, what can I do better? And we're, we're just going to be praying for you as you go to, to the doctor and just find out more about how you can tweak things to continue in your success. But you've had an incredible success. Yeah. I mean, don't focus on the fact that you feel that you still have to lose some more weight. Focus on the fact that you have lost 65 pounds. pounds. I mean, focus on that. And yeah, it is hard. And you, I, I would say my, the best piece of advice I can give you is to constantly change it up. I've found that that's what works with me. Constantly change it up. Our body is amazing and it loves to get used to something and it adapts to something. That's mm -hmm. just how God's designed us. So you constantly need to be changing it up to kind of tricking your body like, oh, you thought you're going to get food. Nope. No, you're not. You know, and doing it that way, you'll be able to constantly have some progression towards your goals. Yeah. Well, that is this week's Keto on the Couch. Uh, like I said, please make sure you go join our Facebook family group. Also, leave your questions and your comments down below on this video, and we will answer them on next week's Keto on the Couch. If you're not a member of our Facebook family group, make sure you go and join and leave your stories, your comments, things like that, and give inspiration to other people. Please do us a favor and hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon, and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next week, bye! bye.